Hear me? The easiest way for God to raise men is to connect them. Oh dear, I wish I had time. This is not, this is a miracle service. Listen, you need to hear what I will tell you. Not everybody, hear me, not everybody will begin the journey of their prosperity by themselves. There are others, your prosperity is already in the prosperity of others. You will prosper by partnership, not pioneering. If you don't understand this, you will be poor for the rest of your life. It is not laziness. There are people God has placed a mantle on. The prosperity God has given them is beyond what they need for their own destiny. Lot, waiting to hear God by yourself will keep you poor. You need to find Abraham quickly. If you are waiting to say, God told Abraham, he must speak to me. You will grow old and you will never rise. If you are Abraham, don't wait for Lot. Hear God. But if you are Lot, you will hear God through Abraham and connect to Abraham to rise. This is a mystery. Not everybody excels by pioneering. Many will excel through their connection. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. In Genesis 13, you put Lot here, you put Abraham here. You will not know who God called and who was blessed. That is the power of connection. When you put two candles here, watch this, and you light a match, you put it on this candle, and you use this candle to light this one, and you keep two of them. Do you know that you will not even know which one lit which? This is a mystery that many arrogant people do not understand. In the name of trying to find God for themselves, finding the key to prosper for themselves, you will get into trouble and time will be going. There are people God has raised already. Discern the grace upon their life and stop wasting your destiny. Tap with understanding and accelerate in destiny. To you. Is someone listening? Tonight, we have come with several desires. Your desires represent outcomes that you want to see in your life. But I am telling you that those desires are connected to several mysteries. And that in addition to receiving prayer and all of these things, you must have a determination as a believer to patiently learn the mysteries that must be engaged that are responsible for the various outcomes that you need to actualize life and to actualize destiny longevity is controlled by a mystery sentiments is not one of the mystery you must know what does it take to live long i think the thing just happens those who die die those who live live as painful as it is i submit to you by the integrity of scripture it is not true let God be true and all men liars. But if you do not know the mystery and you are guessing, make him blind, bold face. I know I will not die. You may be surprised. How about lifting? What takes a man from your lowly estate? Because there are many of us here, all the overflows outside, following online. You are wondering, Lord, what does it take to lift me from where I am? What does it take to lift me, oh God? And you find out that the lifting, lifting itself has a mystery. The mystery of lifting is that you must know the Lord as Ebenezer. If you just know him as deliverer, it will not lift you. It will deliver you. But you must know the, have the revelation of him as Ebenezer, that stone that helps men. And then you must understand the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers if you do not understand the ministry of destiny helpers you will only see lifting in your dreams and visions you may never enter the reality of it because i have taught you that who hates you does not matter but in this world of men who likes you matters hallelujah even if you are jesus christ and you are hanging on the cross it will take herod giving joseph of arimathea permission to bring that body down so there are many people who do not understand these things. Believers, are you learning something tonight? So that you don't just say, I know God will do it. You hear what believers say, I know, no, my God is too faithful. You are right, but you are wrong. You are right potentially. 
but you are wrong because your disappointment will keep recycling as your ignorance permits it but the day you get tired and say this miracle service is the moment a change of story always comes with the prophetic deliverance from all kinds of yokes of shame the prophetic and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet where he preserved healing listen there are few people in the Bible who receive healing by themselves go and read the Bible most times over 95 percent of healing it was a man of God Jesus himself or a vessel bringing a word of faith and then the potential recipient believing the word from God and receiving there are few people in the Bible who were healed by themselves so that the moment you just walk in ignorance you can walk in health by yourself and it's true that you can speak the word of God because the word of God is living and active are we together but God's standard procedure is to have men he will send who will speak a word of healing and you believe it and that sickness will leave and you do not believe it you see the same way you can stay in a room and receive Jesus by yourself but most of the salvation of experience of people came through a preacher that God used whether the preacher spoke as a person whether some tape or CD somewhere whether some track somewhere it took someone outside of yourself to make you aware even the utopian eunuch needed help to a point that the Holy Ghost had to move Peter to go and help that man is someone learning now I'm saying this because in the next few minutes already people have received their miracles but as we begin to pray and see the God that heals and the God that changes stories I want you to understand that this is how the system of God works you believe in God but you also believe in the servant that he has sent if you believe in God alone it is not enough for the manifestation of the miraculous one prophetic word that is believed received with understanding and you return back not knowing what has rested on your head and the next thing you will see that a climate just changes over your life that those who were rejecting you you return back home and meet them waiting and say something told me to bless you something did not tell them it's an anointing the anointing speaks it does the anointing speaks that something that is growing within you satanic objects moving in your body roaming around your body from your head to your body to your feet machines cannot diagnose it but you the victim you know it is there when you tell people they say I, you are just playing games maybe you are just seeing things that one needs more than therapy it needs power say power, power. let the devil hear it power. Mm, needs power not discussions not negotiation power perhaps some organ in your body right now while you are sitting is already failing you heard the testimony of the dear lady an organ your heart is failing and this is what is responsible for this no in the name of Jesus let there be creative miracles in this place perhaps you may be here or your loved one all the overflows outside maybe following online do you know I am humbled and, and, and I say this thanks to all the CMDs and those who have made their hospitals. Do you know how many hospitals right now, not just in Nigeria, clinics, you know, all kinds of medical platforms that are connected right now because they have seen that the power of God, they have agreed. I'm glad that medicine is coming into partnership with genuine spirituality. That is a combo that is needed, especially in this end time. Hallelujah. That there are doctors right now, there are patients right now watching as I'm speaking. And for those of you who are connecting from any hospital, I want you to prepare your spirit that in the next few minutes, the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, those incurable, inexplainable sicknesses that are just eating life. Someone is emaciating, it's not HIV, the organs are well because machines don't diagnose spirits. Hmm. Machines don't diagnose spirits. 
Hallelujah. How about those who are in all kinds of trouble right now? Financial trouble, trouble with your destiny, perhaps your rent is not paid. How about projects that have been grounded? You started building since 2018. Till now, it has not even reached Lintel level. It's no longer a testimony. This one is not just building. You need restoration. Restoration is not when the building is completed. Restoration is when God does something and blesses you with more than one house. And honors you and you will see him you you are able to see the hand of God in your life someone I, I can't remember if it was koinonia here or maybe a personal testimony who got an employment letter and while the person was rejoicing an email was sent again that it was a mistake why must it be a mistake when it gets to my turn say no way in the name of Jesus Christ it, how do you see something good you are almost touching it in the name of Jesus let me speak over someone whatever has come so close to you just left for your hand to reach and yet it was manipulated by witchcraft I call upon the God of my covenant your hand will hold it this night 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 in the name of Jesus Christ sit down a helper that promises you come on Monday he says you get to his office and he's acting as if you are an assassin that came cannot even remember he told you that and let me tell you the truth see anything you are not ready to confront you are giving it longevity in your life did you hear what I said? You must get angry in your spirit. Yes, sir. Doors open just when you are entering. Others enter, then they stop you. And they say, wait. The woman with the issue of blood knew about the fact that water was stirred. I hope you know they were in the same generation. She was not near the water. The person in Mark 5, in, in John 5, was still in the generation of the woman with the issue of blood that one found himself near the water the woman sat down outside of the gate or outside of the city when she heard about jesus i'm sure she told herself there is no hope of me getting close to the pool of bethesda but i say to myself if i may but touch the hem of his garment i believe in seasons I've taught you about seasons and timings but I've also taught you that the day Jesus comes to your life a season has opened are we together now yeah by the natural course of life there are things that should happen with time and in season but Jesus becomes a legitimate exception to all things he can step into your life today and say it is not next year it is this year um, could that be a prophecy for someone that it is not next year oh, it is this year I say it again it is this year you will see the faithfulness of God this year the job this year the child this year the marriage this year the lifting this year in the name of Jesus Christ God has chosen the foolishness of prophetic words to rewrite the destinies of men that a word comes and you say amen with understanding and God stamps it in heaven and no devil of darkness will come and rewrite it hallelujah while you are here in koinonia perhaps outside perhaps in the overflow as a prophetic word is coming my God there are angels who cannot see going around Abuja being sent by the word of God some of them maybe to national assembly others to certain ministries others to certain places there is a destiny helper sleeping somewhere and an angel of the Lord will come like Joseph like like Gabriel to Mary and wake him up and say God is speaking to you come through dreams like he did Abimelech listen Abraham never begged Abimelech to give him anything it was because Abimelech had a dream God first warned him about Abraham's wife and
to be able to restitute what he has done or what he intended to do he gave abraham gifts chapter 12 a prophetic word comes chapter 13 he returns with untold prosperity i believe in diligence i have taught you to be diligent even financially but please when you hear me speak over your finances i know you are a businessman but still say amen and receive it because this god you see can turn your life in literally 24 hours and if you listen and if you don't believe what i'm saying then it means you are not a christian you don't know the god that you gave your life to sometimes in a bid to exalt principles we downplay god and we say sometimes carelessly we find ourselves saying things that yes we know subconsciously that god can change stories but the truth is that many of us, because of our carnality, we have not come to a point where we agree that God can actually change stories. Changing your story in a short period of time is not endorsing laziness. It's because he knows your pain and he knows time has been lost. So he comes in as a God of mercy. Do you not believe in his mercy again? For someone here by this time tomorrow in the name of jesus may my god do something that has not been done in your life from january till september i prophesy it upon your destiny in the name of jesus christ